The KISS method strictly dictates simple flies to be most effective. The Pertagon is a testament to this highly praised philosophy, and it epitomizes a simple fly that gets down deep and just catches fish. To begin, let's grab a Daiichi 1120 in a size 16. Pinch that barb and add your favorite tungsten bead to match your hook. The purpose of the Pertagon is to get deep in a hurry, so a .015 non-lead wire is added for a bit of weight and a bit of bulk in the thorax. Start wrapping the wire on the back of the hook and add a dab of super glue just behind the bead. Slide the wire up snugly against the back of the bead and break off any excess. Get some thread started on the hook and cover the wire. I'm using a fluorescent pink thread that will show through the end. Mix up your thread colors to vary the ribbing and hotspot effect of your flies. A simple tail comprised of three mallard flank feathers is my favorite for this pattern. Trim a few fibers from the feather and measure them to be about the length of the hook. Tails can sometimes be key, so don't hesitate to leave a few flies with longer ones. Secure the feathers with two loose wraps and check their length before adding securing wraps and trimming any excess. Cock de Leon or Grizzly hackle fibers will also work hanging from the back of this pattern. You can use a variety of materials for this next step, but Super Floss makes a very beautiful fly. A very elastic material that looks just like floss and splits like floss too. Sometimes is necessary when you're tying smaller bugs. I'm using the entire width for this size 16. Tie the floss down behind the wire and wrap it down all the way back to the end of the hook. Then use your thread to create a taper in the body of your fly by wrapping back to front multiple times. Not going back quite as far on the hook with each additional round of thread. Once you're happy with the taper, begin wrapping your super floss in a way that creates a ribbing effect on the back end of the fly. Build up the thorax just a bit more with your floss before securing it at the front of the hook and building a small hot spot with your pink thread. Whip finish or half hitch and cut your thread at this point. Next, grab a black Sharpie marker to create a dark wing case. Now you can use black nail polish as well if you have it handy. Paint both the top of your Pertagon thorax and your bead. Make sure the entire top portion of the fly is colored with ink or nail polish. Then, reach for your favorite UV epoxy, a flex formula if you have it, and cover the top of that wing case and bead with a small dab. Ideally, there will be a small epoxy bump on the back of this fly, accentuating the wing case and hot spot underneath. Hit it with a shot of UV light, and then add a bit more epoxy to the abdomen for increased durability and shine. The Pertagon is too easy to be true sometimes, but the results are for real. It's great for fishing deep holes in the fall or fast pocket water in the summer when you don't have a lot of time to get down to those fish. Very easy to drop it off the back of a caddis or hopper as well. All in all, this is one of my favorite flies to fish and to tie. Check in with your local fly shop and ask them about Larva Lace products. Email Lori or go to Hagensfish.com with any questions or to order top quality tying supplies for your next date with the vise. Larva Lace is a proud partner of the Fish Stories Archive, helping anglers preserve their voices for future generations. Thank you very much for tying with Larva Lace products, tight lines, and best fishes.